What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to the What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to today's video. And in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at those five fun, super easy, unique music video style transitions in DaVinci Resolve. Now, everything you're gonna see is available within the free version. And I also recommend that you check out one of my previous videos, which is linked down in the description, where I'll show you how to save adjustment clips within Power Bin so that you can use them in future projects. It would be really useful when creating these transitions. Right, with all that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now the very first one we're going to have a look at are those TV colour bars for a flicking channel sort of transition. Now this one is super easy. All we're going to do, head over to the Effects Library in the top left, open up the Toolbox, come down to Generators, and then you've got the SMPTE colour bars. We're just going to add that onto our timeline above our two clips, or we'll just adjust the length as we need to. We could then apply a sound effect. Easy peasy, you've got that color bars error transition. Now the next one we're gonna have a look at is the flicker effect. Now this one's also really easy. We're just gonna grab our second clip and we're gonna drag it upwards onto the video track number two and then drag it over so there's an overlap. We're then just gonna put our playhead at the end of the first video, like so. We're gonna click the top one so it's highlighted in red and then we're just going to use our keyboard shortcut control and B to do a cut like so. And then using your left arrow key, just tap that about three times and then we'll do another cut and then we'll do three more and a cut. And this time I'm going to do two more and a cut, two more and a cut, two more, cut, two more, cut. And now I'm right near the end so I'll do one and a cut and repeat that until they're all done. Now if we just zoom in a little bit, all we need to then do is delete every other section. So I'm going to start again from the back. Using the backspace, I'm going to get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So now we've got these sections here. If we want to just make our timeline a little bit tidier, we can just drag that back down now so you can stay down there. And then if we hit play, we've got this flicker effect and then it will carry on with our clip number two. Now for our third transition, which is our shake or earthquake transition, all we're going to do, still within the effects library, come down to effects, you're going to grab an adjustment clip, and we're just going to put that above where our two clips meet like so. We'll make sure that's centered. Now I've got it as about a second. We can play around with the timings afterwards, but we'll leave it there for now. Then head back into the effects library, go to open effects, scroll down, until you see the transform area. And we're gonna grab camera shake and just put that onto our adjustment clip. So give the adjustment clip a click, open up the inspector, top right hand corner, then click on the open effects tab. And what I like to do here, really simply, I'm gonna put the motion scale to full, the speed scale to full, the motion blur to full. Scroll down a little bit, you've got the motion method here. There's a few to choose from, have a play, they all do different things, so just experiment with those. I like the rectified one, the second one down. And last but not least, scroll down a bit more, change the border type to replicate, and then I also like to zoom in a bit as well. So now if we hit play, it zooms in, it shakes around with motion blur, and then it cuts to our next clip. Now I like this one to be really short, so let's just shorten that up a little bit, and we'll hit play. And there we go. Now the fourth one is a pixel transition. So again, we're gonna grab our adjustment clip. We're gonna place it on our timeline, same place as before in between those two clips like so. We're then gonna to go to the open effects again. Right at the top, you've got mosaic blur. Just drag that onto your adjustment clip and you'll get this effect here. Again, with it selected, open up the inspector, go to the open effects. And then all you need to do, you've got pixel frequency at the top Put your playhead right at the very beginning, like so. Click on this little diamond here to add a keyframe. Then we're gonna put that at 400, so the effect is barely visible, like so. We're gonna move our playhead into the middle, and we're just gonna drag this down now to the point where there's lots of pixels, so I'm gonna go with about there, 27. And we're gonna to scroll to the very end of the transition, just take that right back to 400, 
Now if we hit play, we've got this cool pixel transition. Now for the very last one, it's a glow transition. So once again, we're gonna to go to effects, adjustment clip, same place as before, and then open effects, scroll down, and so you get to the resolve effect light and I want you to grab the glow effect and apply that to your adjustment clip. Again, give it a click, inspector, open effects. So in the middle of this transition, you want it to be super bright. So we're gonna first of all decrease our shine threshold. So I'm gonna go right to the bottom like so. And we're gonna come down to brightness and I'm gonna increase that quite a lot. And then we're gonna come down to opacity and we're just gonna increase that as well. Again, play with these until you're happy. I'm gonna go really bright like that. Now again, we're going to keyframe it, but we're not going to keyframe all the individuals. We're just going to do this global blend. So scroll to the far left, the beginning, and we're going to add a keyframe and put the blend on one. So it's fully blended in. You can't see any of the transition at all. We're going to move to the middle. We're going to bring that right down to zero. We're going to move right to the end, put that right up to one again. And then if we hit play, we've got this really nice glow style transition. And that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, shove them down below. And if you're new here, you didn't enjoy the video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.